YouTube update, and we're doing the myths of, of flu shots. Now we're in number eight myth. So flu shots protect adults. Where are sorry, we already went? Babies it doesn't protect. Kids it doesn't protect. Doesn't help with asthmatic uh, uh, asthmatic children. Doesn't help with them. We actually talked about a, a, a large international conference of drug doctors that said it actually increased the problems with kids by 300%. But don't confuse me with it. But I'm going to go down to the to the, the local place. I'm going to get a free flu shot. Well, guess what? They're not free. They cost billions, that's with the B, billions of dollars that you don't have, I don't have, and that puts. A little off the track like that, I just saw a professor, I forgot at what university, that were $222 trillion in the hole. Nice. Two hundred and twenty-two. That's with a T. That's one with twelve zeros behind it. The whole world, all the production, all the things that they create, is only fifty-nine trillion dollars. So try to put that, wrap your head around how we're going to pay back two hundred twenty-two trillion dollars. That was just published today. Nice. So we just add to it because once again, nothing is free. So in the healthcare system, that's one of the biggest black holes of why. We're in a debt because people walk to, drive their friends to, all these quacks that cost lots of money, hurts them, costs more money, hurts them, costs more money, and once again, no one has to pay. Everything's sort of, sort of free. Oh yeah, my insurance paid for that. Medicare. Once again, we don't have the money for these overly charged. In fact, I just had a, you know, a good friend who came in yesterday. He was shocked by the, his blood test. Yeah. $400 for doing a basic test that cost, should, should cost $20. Yeah, John, exactly. Because it's all hidden. So everybody walks around thinking everything's free. No, where did that $400 come from? Didn't come from John. Once again, so that goes onto the credit card and that contributes to the $222 trillion that goes on there. So you have to start thinking beyond that. Remember what the, what the, um, the chief of staffs of the military said a couple years ago? The biggest threat is not, a, uh, once again, the Muslims, bioterrorism, you know, nuclear uh, uh, attack, EMP explosion, it's the debt. This was another study that was done, what's called the Cochrane Reviews, which gets a medical journal that looks at all the science that's ever been done on it. So they reviewed 48 scientific studies involving more than 66,000 adults trying to find out the benefits of getting uh, vaccinated was, once again, minimal at best. What they were able to find is that, you know, it might help to reduce the risk of influenza by 6%. That's why we're spending, you know, money, once again. As we're, and we've already gone over, like most people that have the flu don't have the flu, so that number's less. Here's the best thing, which we'll talk a little bit later, is Tamiflu, which is very expensive, was able to reduce the overall two weeks of being sick by about uh, anywhere from 12 to 21 hours. That's all this does. Doesn't prevent it, doesn't knock it out. So you have, go for 14 days being sick like that, and hype techniques, literally, that can knock it out in three days. Uh, but here you spend all this money on Tamiflu and similar that type of things, and the science shows that it helps maybe reduce, you, you get a little bit better 12 hours sooner or 21 hours sooner. Great deal.